Hi, today's assignment is Word, Module 1, Creating Documents with Word. So the first couple of pages goes over the objectives for the module and then understanding the word processing software uh, with typing and editing text, copy, moving, formatting text and paragraphs, design pages, enhancing documents, um, using mail merge and sharing documents securely. Then we'll move on to explore the Word window. And we did a little bit of this in the previous um, exercises, working with the title bar, the quick access toolbar, the ribbon display options, file, backstage area, the entire document window where you're learning how to scroll throughout the document using either the vertical or horizontal rulers and the scroll bars, zooming in and out. So the first thing we're going to do is start on WD1-6 in the textbook or the ebook, start a document. So the first thing you need to do is open up the textbook project. And this launches in SAM. I just have to allow my uh, pop-up blocker. Once it's completed loading, you'll have um, instruction file. Go ahead and click start. You get three attempts to submit to make any changes. So I'm going to just go back. It went up ahead. This is where you want to um, submit the files. So the first one over on the left hand side, that's actually the reading out of the textbook. So if you need to open up the textbook for the directions or if you have the loose leaf book, you can use the book. But these are the directions that you'll follow. And the very first one we'll open is um, the new Microsoft Word document and it should have your name at the end of it. And then opens on the bottom and you'll just click to open the file. And you'll probably have to click enable editing so that you can actually start working in Word and your ribbon should be displayed. So you should be following the textbook. And the first thing they want you to do is type a title, JCL Talent. And then it has you press enter twice. And then you'll type capital T O colon. And then actually press tab twice. And then you'll type JCL Managers. Press enter from and so forth. And I'm just going to pause and fill it in for you. So, hopefully, by following the directions in the ebook or your loose leaf textbook, you'll have everything that's showing here on your screen, also on yours. And I just wanted to share with you. Uh, when you're typing dates like the 18th um, to get the raised um, TH, when you type 1A TH, the TH doesn't go into that superscript until you press the space bar and then it does it automatically for you. And then the other thing when you are typing the word September, um, any months of the year, the longer months, of course not for May or June, the longer months uh, when you type the first four letters, uh, to com complete it, all you have to do is press enter and it'll finish it for you. So that's what I do with September. And then you finish typing the rest of it. There is one red wavy line. Uh, Word doesn't understand um, in its spell check. It's not part of the spell check library, so it thinks the name is misspelled. So um, we'll take care of that after. So the first thing they want us to do is go to um, the Position the cursor after four, but before the space in the last sentence of the um, of the, uh, the last sentence of the first paragraph. So I'm going to go after the word four, but before the space bar, and I'm going to press backspace to get rid of the word four three times, and then I'll type in place of it to launch in. 
and then you still have your space. The next way they want you to do it is go in front of the word staff, the next creative staff, and then you're going to press delete. And what delete will do is it deletes to the right, whereas backspace deleted to the left. So I'm going to delete all the, the word staff. So if I was at the end of the word staff, I would have used backspace. Seeing I'm in front of it, I'll use the delete key. And you're going to do it six times so that you can get rid of all the letters and also the um, space, the extra space that was there. So now we're going to save this. So you'll click file. Or you can actually use this floppy disk here or um, control S for save. But I'm going to do it from here, save as, and I'm going to browse and I'm going to put it into my documents in this PC. But before I put it into documents, I'm actually going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it Word. So I'll put it into Word. So it's in um, this PC, PC Documents Word, and the name of this document is going to be, it's very, very picky, so it's going to be capital I-L, that stands for Illustrated, underscore, W-D, underscore, one, underscore, and then Memo, and then underscore and your first and last name as it was seen or shown when you first opened this document. And there's usually not a space between your first and last name. So if you want to check it, it should be IL for illustrated underscore WD underscore one underscore memo underscore again and your name as it was shown when you opened this document. And then go ahead and click save. And it takes you back to your document. Once, what you'll do next is click to the left of conference and type the word large So and add a space bar. So it's large conference room. And then just click the floppy or if you want, you can do control S and it'll save it automatically. You don't go back into file save as with a new name. Um, you've already named it. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, navigate through this document. So the first thing they want us to do is put on what's called show hide, which is to show the paragraph symbols. So if you just click it, you turn it on and it shows when enter was pressed and the arrows indicate tabs and the raised dots are space bars between words. So the first thing we're gonna do is select where it says JCL managers and we're going to type instead creative staff but you don't have to press delete as soon as you start typing it gets replaced so creative staff in place of um, jcl managers then you're going to double click on the first name don double click selects a word type your name double click the last name and then type your last name. And then I'm going to hover over to the left-hand side. And when you do, do that, the mouse changes from an eye beam to an arrow. And when I'm hovering and pointing at regarding, I'm going to click that and that selects the entire line. What I'll do now is type RE colon, that's the shift semicolon, tab twice. And we're typing a new title and this is recruitment. tips web page then the sentence in the paragraph the second paragraph the very first sentence Anna we're going to delete that it's a very short sentence but if you hold control and click any word in that sentence it selects the entire sentence for you so control click and then just press delete and that sentence is, is gone then at the end of the second paragraph after World Web Consortium, and I don't know about you, but I'm missing wide. Whoop. World Wide Web. 
So I'm going at the end of this um, sentence, and I'm going to add one very short one. So I'll add a space bar, C, www.w3.org for more information and at a period. It automatically changes that because you typed it as a www, it changes it to a hyperlink. So it's got the underline in it and um, it's in blue. So if you don't want it to be a link and if you wanted to go to this actual website, you would control and click over the, um, the blue link. Instead, we're going to right click on it and choose remove hyperlink and the blue should go away. Based on the new changes we made, we need to update. So we'll click the floppy or control S to save it so that it's updated. The next thing we're going to do is select the title, JCL Talent, the title, and we're going to increase the font size. And what they'd like us to do is from the mini toolbar, this, the larger A is increase the font size, the smaller A is decrease, and they want you to click this um, six times. And you'll watch how it goes in increments. First it'll go to 12, and then it'll go by twos. And in the end, you should be at 22. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So you've increased it six times. Then you'll also put bold, so it makes it a darker font. And then you'll also choose italic, so it puts it on a slant. And then also, and if you notice when you're clicking the, the different features, um, they're um, faded out so that you've selected them, they're grayed out. So we have bold, italic, and underline. And they also want it instead of at the left edge, in the center. So you'll click in the paragraph group, center. The shortcut key for center is control E. So if I was on the left, I could do control E. Control R is the right. So control E is center. And it really should be in all capitals. Um, not just, So the word talent, the T is capitalized, but the rest isn't. So with it still selected, uh, this is considered change case feature, and you'll choose uppercase. So the entire title is in uppercase. Then click underneath regarding where that blank line is. And what you want to create is a dividing line between the heading and the paragraphs. So you you're, should be in the blank space under regarding. And in the paragraph group, there's a feature called borders. And you want the very first one, which is bottom border. So it puts a, a dividing line in the document for you. Then we'll click file, print. And over, and it's hard to read, but if you go down the bottom in the right corner, you can zoom in, and they have you um, click the zoom um, six times, and then you proofread your document. You could also have done this back in the document out of the print preview, but you can also do it here. So you would pre preview it. I think the book said five times. And if we were um, actually printing, you could click print. Otherwise, we'll click the back arrow. Make sure you click Save, and then you can choose File and Close. So I'm going to end right now. This is the first part of the textbook. I'm up to page uh, 13, so I'm going to start the second part, which is the other document we'll open in SAM. So for right, right now, make sure that the first one that you completed has been saved, because you'll be um, needing to locate it in order to submit it in SAM when we're finished both documents. So I'll stop now, and then we'll continue with part two.